What's going on YouTube? Um, just making another video. Uh, this is going to be, uh, I'm not going to be able to do a video this weekend because I'm going to Comic Con. And I want to do a video of some of the pickups I just uh, got today from my uh, my, my local store. Uh, these are my pull list. And also I, I got an, another package in the mail yesterday and today. So um, the first one I was able to get was, this is the second printing of spread number one. Um, now when I went into the store, they didn't have and I asked about it and they thought they had a few copies but it appears one of the guys that was still in the store had grabbed every single copy they had like four copies so they were able to talk him into let me have one of them um, so I was able to get this and I guess there's only 5,000 of these that were um, were made or are being made and they came out today and they're already selling online for up to 10 bucks so and it's a really cool one it even has like a uh, phony looking price tag on it like it's a uh, um, an action figure card you know um, it's a really cool looking one I can see why it's so popular but already and like I said it just came out today um, but I was able to snag one I'm going to try to grab a couple more because um, I think they're going to have a little bit of value maybe I can grab a couple more and later on um, sell them for a little bit of a profit uh, but <clears throat> so I got that one and I picked up the uh, fourth book of uh, Nailbiter. Um, I've been reading this one also. It's about you know a town of serial killer or a town that has had a lot of serial killers come out of it. Um, and there's one that was released, um, found not guilty or whatever, um, who when he killed his victims he bit their nails. I don't know, but it's a story uh, about that town, so it's pretty good. I haven't read this one yet. I haven't read any of these books yet. I just got them. So, uh, also I picked up number five of Deadpool Dracula's Gauntlet, Gauntlet, and I also picked up number four, which I missed last week. So I picked them both up. I haven't read any of these yet. Like I said, uh, number three was thrown in my pool list um, by accident because I picked up the regular series and. I just decided to start buying them since I already had the third one. I'll probably read it sooner or later. Oh, here you go. Uh, God is Dead. This is number 18, I believe. Um, yeah, I think it's number 18. I don't see the number on here. But uh, this is the uh, Carnage Wraparound. Um, Alan Moore is on there. Uh, I don't know. I, like I said, if you haven't read this book, pick it up. I mean, read it. I really like it. Um, I haven't heard anyone else talking about it, but um, I've enjoyed every one. And this will probably be the first book I read out of this, um, all the books I got today. So, awesome book. Picked up Big Trouble Little China, number three. Got the first two. I haven't gotten around to reading either of them yet, but um, I just think I heard, uh, I just watched someone's video. I think it was uh, Chris Holden. Um, he had picked it up and he said it was his favorite movie when he was a kid. And I think it's probably definitely my favorite movie when I was a kid. This and also I had said Nightbreed was up there. But I think Kurt Russell was my favorite actor when I was a kid. So, you know, Escape from New York, all those Big Trouble in Little China. Um, so I picked that. I haven't gotten around to reading yet, but I am going to. Uh, I just got Bunker number five. I read the last four really interesting story. I heard they're going to make a TV show or a movie or something out of it, so um, good read. I picked up Hack and Slash, Son of Sam Ham number two. I read the last one was it a week or two ago. Um, I never read any of the Hack and Slash stuff. I found it pretty interesting so I picked up a second one. So, uh, also, I picked up Spread number two. Um, now, I showed you the spread number one second print. I have the, fir uh, the first one. There's one more I haven't gotten for the first print. I do have the Phantom variant. Uh, and this is a, from what I've read in the first one so far, I guess it's like a post-apocalyptic world where I guess some kind of aliens or something had taken over and I guess this is supposed to be something that kind of almost a little bit like Manifest Destiny kind of. I Kind of a little bit, I think. I'm, at least I'm getting a feel. So. But, uh, I don't know, I bought the second one because I'm, I enjoyed the first one, so. And Batman Eternal number 18, and I picked up 
Batman and Detectives, uh, the Detective Comics, um, number 34 now. I just noticed this is a selfie variant cover, and I do not like it. I think that is horrible looking. Look at that face. I don't know who did it. I don't know, but it's it's horrible. I think so. Uh, also, I'm a huge Dresden, Dresden fan, uh, Jim Butcher. Uh, I, I, re I read all the novels, even the most current one. I just got like a, I read it last month, I think, or a few weeks ago. Um, and I've been picking up the uh, the last. The, this is the third series I've picked up. I picked up the last two series also, um, which I don't have the previous one before that though. But I, don't know, I really enjoy these books, so pick that up. And Future Zen is probably the second book I read today. Um, been really enjoying this series, um, so good book. And probably my favorite book I've been reading, um, Rachel Rising, Terry Moore. Uh, it's number 27 in the series. Uh, I, I'm sorry, this will probably be the first first book I read. <laughs> so, um, and I picked up number seven, which. They had, my store had to find me the issue because I didn't have this one. I have all the other ones, but I was missing number seven. So I hadn't started reading this series yet until I got this one. So I'm going to start reading this series now. Um, I heard there sci-fi picked uh, or, or optioned it for a TV show or something like that. But I've also heard it's a really good book. So I think District 12 had said something about this on one of her previous videos. So... Um, I decided to start buying them, and I'm going to start reading them now that I have every issue so far. Um, and I picked this one up. It's Pure Spider-Man number 32. I thought we were done with the Pure Spider-Man stuff, but uh, I saw this there today, so I had to get it. You know, I have every single issue of the uh, the um, Pure Spider-Man series, and I also picked this one up. Um, the Scotty Young variant cover which this is going to be one of the books uh, I'm also going to show you the books I have put aside to uh, to bring to the Comic Con and get signed and I think this is the one of the ones I'm going to have Scotty Young sign and get signature series um, I'm probably going to grab one or two other books um, like number ones or something so I'm going to try that I'll get that that's going to be one of them now um, and now that's all the books I picked up this week um, my pull list um, on my local store. Uh, now th th these are the books I've gotten in the mail. I just got these today. Uh, I got S Tim Vigil. You know, I, I, I had spoken about it before. I love Tim Vigil's art. I remember reading him as a teenager on um, Faust. Um, this is him. This is the uh, North Star um, from North Star uh, Splatter. And I just saw I was like 350, so I picked it up online, and I just opened it up and I looked through it. And I'll show you a little bit. Hopefully, I don't show you nothing obscene because he's. But I don't. Know, I just really love his art. It's just a bit macabre. But one of the things I found at the back of the book, which oh look at that, that's pretty good. I like that. Um, but one of the things I found at the back of the book, if you know me. I'm a huge Grendel fan, and I saw that little advertising advertisement for Grendel for tote bags and the Kimiko collection, which I have actually. Whoops, just dropped something on my thing. I have the Kimiko collection right here in my bookshelf. Um, it comes with the, uh, what's it called? The Devil's Augury or something like that, whatever it's called. Um, but yeah, I thought that was kind of cool when I opened it up and I kind of flipped through it and I saw that in the back. So that's kind of cool. But I'm looking forward to reading it. Um, so I got that. And since I'm showing Tim Vigil that, I also picked up number seven of the uh, Rebel. Well, actually, uh, the original series started with North Star, number one to number six. Um, Rebel started with number seven. So I got number seven, and also I got number eight. So I got both of these. Now, maybe someone could let me know, because I couldn't figure it out. They, I was bought these as first printings. But when I looked online, I, I used the comicpriceguide.com to kind of, uh, you know, to list, you know, to try to save all my books I have so I know which books I have. 
and when they picture these they have the first printing is having white printing down here um, I have the red which they say is a second printing or whatever um, but I looked online other places and they show the first print has the red writing so if you know that if these are definitely first printings let me know so um, also I picked up uh, this is Ninja Scrolls I love the animation the uh, Japan animation movie um, so I picked this up I saw this and this is the j j excuse me uh, the Jim Lee variant um, there was only I think 1700 of these made so I got that one I only paid uh, I don't think I got the list of all these books I got I paid three three eighty for that and I paid 350 for number two which is also the Jim Lee variant which is I think these were only 1200 of these were done so it's pretty cool um, I do want to get the rest of them I think there's like six of them uh, something like that and or maybe there's yeah I think there were six of them I can't remember I just looked up looked them up but uh, like I said I really love the uh, Japan animation and I want to get I want to get the rest of the books and read them so and I picked up DC Comics number 12 presents number 12 and as you know I'm trying to get these all these and I'm picking them up as I see them and number 15 I paid like 350 a piece for these and they're in really nice condition um, so if you look at them they're pretty nice so I'm happy to have them and I got this for 350 also Logan's run number one and look at that night from 1977 Looking condition on that for 350. It's a number one. Not that it's really worth anything. I don't know. I think I remember seeing Logan's Run might be a first appearance of someone. I can't remember. If you, if anyone knows if the, if this is a first appearance for someone beside, I guess Logan. Um, let me know. I, I remember vaguely hearing someone say something like that or before. Um, also, no big deal. I picked up. Uh, Avengers number 128 um, Three bucks 350 something like that. So I needed it didn't have it And I picked this one up just for the hell of it because it was three bucks Meef comics. It's one of those underground comics uh, But like I said with three bucks I've been wanting to pick up one of these older issues, you know from the underground um, So I don't know I figured I'd pick it up for three bucks you know that like zap comics and stuff with our crumb and a little expensive so I picked up one of these um, now also beside those I also yesterday I got a load uh, in it, uh, a bunch of books and here you go a bunch of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one this is the fourth fourth printing I got it for 12 bucks and the rest of them I only paid a few bucks for each I guess I got a lot of them in lots so this is number nine, number ten, and number eleven. That was one lot. I think I paid like tw uh, nine bucks. No, I think it was like nine, ten bucks. So I paid about three bucks a piece for them. Um, number twelve, number fifteen, and number sixteen. That's the same thing. About 10 bucks, 12 bucks. Uh, I got number, ooh, I think that's 17. Um, number 18. I paid about 10 bucks for that. Those two or something. I can't remember exactly. I'm just going off the top of my head. But these three books, which is number 19, 20, and 21, I paid. I think it was like almost twenty dollars. I don't know why these were a little bit more. They, these went for so much more. Um, I'm gonna notice. Let me know. Um, this is number. I can't remember. Twenty-five, something like that. So you know, I'm gonna do that stand. It's not even working. Uh, and I got number thirty-seven. Well, that's a cool cover. I picked this one up at the flea market. I showed this one the other day. Uh, got that one for a dollar thirty-nine, and then also in a lot I got 
uh, number 46. So I got all those from one guy. I think I paid like 60 bucks for every single one of them. Um, so I don't think it was that bad of a deal. I thought it was pretty good. There's a lot of, he had, he had other ones that I just couldn't afford uh, to go any higher on them. And people, I guess, really wanted them more than I did. So, but uh, I just wanted to show some of the books I decided to get signature series this weekend at the Comic Con. Um, Amanda Connor is going to be there, so I have these two books right now. I'm deciding which one I want to get done. This is number zero. This is the variant cover, and number one. Um, her and her husband, uh, Jimmy, are going to be there. Palmiotti, whatever the hell is, I ever say his name. They're both going to be there, so I figured I have them both sign the books, but. Uh, I'm going to have them sign. I, I think I'm going to do this one. The zeros, I don't know. I just, I kind of like the cover, but, and I wish I had the Adam Hughes variant. I just don't have it. Um, they're a little bit expensive, so I might have them both sign that. But I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to check with her to see how much she would charge to do a sketch. Um, and maybe have it. She doesn't charge too much. Maybe I'll get it done. Because I don't have any of those. You know, um, that's the only thing I haven't been able to get is a sketch um, cover. So. But also, uh, Jeremy Bastian is going to be there, so I'm going to have him sign number one, Curse Pirate Girl, number two, and I'm going to have him sign number three. And if I can find the zero, uh, which is a WonderCon variant, I, I don't know, WonderCon, um, was on in WonderCon, I, I'm going to pick that up and maybe have him sign that too. So, um, and I'm going to have... Like I said, some Scotty Young books, and there's a couple. I'm trying to get a, uh, a Gru to Wander number one, or even the new one that just came out, Gru and uh, Conan book. And because Sergio Argonis is going to be there, so I'm thinking about having them sign. Uh, so, and there was, I can't remember right, who's going to be, I think this is Mark Brooks. Who did this one. I think this is one of the ones. I'm thinking Mark Brooks is going to be signing that. And... Oh my god, I can't remember who did these covers. But they're going to be there at the Comic Con. I, I wrote it down. Um, Avengers number one. This is the uh, Sketch Party variant. And I'm going to have that one done. I can't remember who did it. Oh my gosh. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to have them sign. And I think there may be a few more books. I don't know. Depending on how much money I have um, left over from spending money there or whatever. So, but, uh, oh, one more thing. I also picked up. I picked this up last week, but the price guide with the J, uh, J, uh, uh, Scott Campbell um, cover. So I spent an extra five bucks for the hardcover, which I have the the last one last year and the one year before that too. So, but uh, oh, real quick while I'm on here, I got two more minutes until I hit 20 minutes. So, um, as you know, I was trying to sell some trying to sell some stuff on eBay, some of my books. And when I was looking to see prices, I decided to look up some of my statues. And I found out that this one right here, which I paid $180 for, which was what I bought when I first came out, is now selling for $650. Wow. And this one right here, this one right there, Captain America, 600 bucks. That one, about 250 I believe this one here about 300 and the Hulk is about the same as it's selling for I bought it for a 220 which is it just came out so but this one here which is the uh, Avengers Reborn um, one is selling for about 250 now or 225 to 250 so I don't know I'm really thinking about now selling these because they're worth so much money uh, and they're actually selling for that amount online i went back and looked at past uh, sales and they sold that one sold recently for 600 bucks or 550 there was a couple and there was uh, one for 600 it sold for and this one here there's only one of them for sale online right now and it's selling for 650 and past one that have sold for about 575 600 but for only having one of them for sale online right now, it's pretty rare, I guess. And I talked to my local store, and they told me that, yeah, these are actually pretty rare right now. So, um, I don't know. Let me know what you think, whether I should sell these. I got like two grand in statues I've only paid, you know, like I said, 180 to 200 a piece for. So, 
But okay, well, thanks. And uh, take some video and I'll post that when I'm when I get back from the con and uh, at the end of the weekend. Uh, maybe next week sometime when I get the time. So, okay. Thanks for watching. Bye. Say hello, Seamus. Say hello. Say hello. Hello. Hello, YouTube. Say hello, Seamus. <laughs> Do your wiggles. Do your wiggles. There goes his wiggles.